Our response as North Carolina National Guard has been insane, um, especially since I'm here every day and I've been here since day one. Um, they have been doing nothing but missions 24-7. I mean, we've had that same, you know, when Helene hit, we had South Carolina, Maryland, Pennsylvania, all these other aircraft Chinooks fly in. It has been nonstop. The request that we made now is more of cold weather stuff, uh, cooking stoves, blankets, different things like that because I don't know if you've seen the weather, but next week it's supposed to be in the 40s and 30s and 40s. And so now we're having to kind of focus our uh, um, uh, attention on more cold weather equipment. These people went from making sure the batteries were good and I had candles over there to not having a house at all. Your candles are floating down the river. You can't prepare for that. There's no way you can prepare for that. You know, this, this area here is not going to be defined. This area here will not be defined by getting smacked in the mouth. What this area will be defined in is what they've done after they got smacked in the mouth. And they have a whole lot of people there to back them up. The road behind you guys is mostly washed out. It's barely even a lane and there's no road over here. The bridge um, behind you guys also got uh, washed out and there's the uh, major highway to the west of us is completely washed out. So this area is very, very secluded. So that's why we're shut down here on the riverbed right now. Today we Brought in some, I think, baby, uh, baby supplies, um, hygiene, blankets, food, cold medicine, etc. We're trying to get in here every day until they say we don't need you guys anymore.